World Wetlands Day is celebrated on the 2nd of February of every year. Working on fire teams across the country travel to communities to share with them information on the advantages and disadvantages of wetlands, also including the impact that fires have on wetlands. In the Free State Province, the Bethlehem team partnered with the Environmental Affairs Office in the Dislabe Municipality and Regional Health Office from the Tabo Mufutsanyani District Municipality and travelled to the Captain Charles Dam in Bushuku. Grace Ramokojo, an environmental health practitioner, asked learners to refrain from littering and polluting the wetlands. So we monitor, we control all these factors in the environment that could lead to poor health or um, ill health. So we have to ensure that the health of the environment, the health of the people dwelling inside the environment is preserved by controlling all those factors in the environment. Um, so today um, we collaborated with the local municipality and other stakeholders in celebration of the Woodlands Day. Um, so our role in this event was to relay a message that our wetlands need to be preserved and they need to be conserved. The province of KwaZulu-Natal celebrated this day in Isibusiso Esihle Science Discovery Center. Here is what Kulani Zulu had to share. The main reason to choose uh, to do the wetlands and fire campaign at Zulu and Coastal is because the Zulu and Coastal region is the most region that has a, a most fires uh, during the fire season and they also start their fires uh, early, uh, early the year. So the main reason to do the wetlands and fire campaign is to build up to our uh, upcoming fire awareness campaign uh, launch at Zulu and Coastal. The groups then took part in practicals that required them to identify alien plants and the different soils they found them in. Everyone took part in the cleanup campaign at the Vazi wetland, which was damaged by fire and growing alien plants. In the Western Cape province, the celebration of the event took place at Island Place, which is located in the Wilderness National Park. Together with South African National Parks, Cape Nature and the Tembaletu community members, the day was spent in the practical atmosphere of what wetlands look like in our community. Rehana Roda, who is the Working on Fire Western Cape Community Awareness Officer, shared with the learners the different ways of protecting wetlands as they host a huge variety of life. And Rolene Killian, who is the Fire Awareness Training Officer in the Western Cape, spoke of how fire regenerates seeds of some plants found in a wetland. In the Eastern Cape province, wetlands were celebrated at Mhlanga JJ. Department of Environmental Affairs, South African Police Service, the local municipality, Sand Parks, Eastern Cape Parks and Tourism, the Mkabatimi team together with pupils from 27 different schools came together to celebrate the day in poetry, singing and presentations. The important message that was shared was how wetlands was important in reducing severe droughts and floods by regulating stream flow of rivers. Environmental officer Luyo Loshey shared with all the history of how Wetlands Day was first recognized in 1971 in Iran. Our firefighters shared with the community the importance of taking care of the wetlands. The day was sealed off with a drilling by sand parks and the working on fire team. The Northwest Province celebrated the annual event at the Ikahe Memorial Park and the Pochopstrom CBD Taxi Rank. They partnered on this initiative with Tloko City Council and Turana Hosting for the awareness. Here is what Martha Depo had to share about the event. Yeah, we are at the CBD Taxi Rank today whereby we are celebrating the World Wetlands Day. Today it's all about uh, protecting our environment together with the Department of Environmental Affairs. We are, we are trying to make people aware about uh, the situation around our dams and rivers. So we are giving out pamphlets so that they must read for more information on what is happening in our lands. In the province of Limpopo, the high-altitude teams of Zanin and Nkoa Nkoa took great efforts to travel to Charles Matunsi Secondary School. 
The six ways that was shared with the learners on protecting wetlands are preserving wetlands, conserving wetlands, restoring wetlands through awareness and education. In all these provinces, public awareness was raised on value of wetlands and their vital link to human well-being. Well done to everyone that took part in showing support for these campaigns on protecting our wetlands.